it's Steve. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm going to do a little tutorial on Photoshop. Um, I've seen many pictures that people put online that they've done in Photoshop and their stars are much to be desired. It's like they take the brush tool and make little dots, but there's a hell of a lot easier way to make a star field that looks real for any sort of graphic you're doing. Um, Let's get started. <clears throat> Gotta switch my monitor over. There we go. Just open any size document you're trying to create, um, whether it be big or small, it works all the same. Um, normally, I'd like to do landscape, but in this case, it doesn't matter. Let me turn the light off. And first you want to make your entire background black, which for most of you that know, you use the paint bucket tool. Now you're all, it's all black right in the background. Next you want to go to a filter and add noise. It'll give you the option of uniform and Gaussian. You might not be able to see it. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Has a little noise there. Which is Usually sometimes they use for something that want, that want to make an image that looks like they got it off the TV. You can't really see it right now because of the camera and the monitor. But you will be able to see the stars will pop up. Maybe the amount you might want to increase. <clears throat> so maybe more, but it makes your background gray. So I wouldn't suggest doing that any more than what they twelve percent would be good. Eleven percent, twelve percent is fine. And I click OK. thing you want to do is adjustments and curves. You've probably played with this. This, what I'm reusing right now is, by the way, is CS3. It's pretty much the same. The graphics is going to be a little different, but you can move the different levels around. Now you can start to see the stars here. Can you see them yet? I'll zoom in. I might have to make this brighter. Fairly, rec oops, fairly recognizable. I mean, just by playing with this, you'll be able to see. Make it a little brighter for you guys to see. Now you see it. <clears throat> That's your star field. Some people might be happy with this star field. Um, can't really see it through the camera, but it's the star field has red, blue, orange, all these like different colors. And one way to get rid of that, you might want to play around with it a little more to get it how you want so the stars are nice and big. Sometimes it's really, really daunting to try to play with, with that. Anyways, you want to go to, oops, I click OK first. You want to go to Mode and Grayscale. Click OK. And that didn't work out as well as I hoped, but you can st don't worry, you still can go back and fix that by going back to curves. That way you can see directly noise. The reason you want to 
to keep the colors. Let's go back and bring the colors back because the different colors have different intensities and some colors will pop out more than others which will form stars. I might have to do this again but um, I did it just fine earlier. some noise. Make some noise. There, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, monochromatic. You can also do that. I did not know that. But some people like the coloration of the stars. I don't know if it looks like actual noise. Now, let's zoom in a little bit to really see what we're doing here. <clears throat> Depending on what resolution, this is probably a real high resolution, but around 72 dpi really looks good. This is 300, so it looked like TV fuzz, but you can see the stars now. Let me zoom out, you can actually see them. And it's a really easy way to make stars without having a dip dot, dip dot, dip dot. And then if you want to make a planet, or if you have a planet rendered from another program, you can do that. You can just make ellipse tool, push shift, whatever size you want, fill that in so it's black. So if the planet that you're putting in has some light coming from the sun, or let's, let's, let's say we want this to be the dark side of planet or a moon. Then you can easily put some put a sun in there by clicking lens flare. It will want me to rasterize this. Click on your background of course. Put some now the CS3 has one more lens flare option called Movie Prime, but depending on what kind of star you want, a red one, I prefer the blue ones because it looks more like a star, you can move that around, but oops, put that too high, bring that down here, see now it looks like a sun is shining, now you can just keep it at that and make 